He turned around and... See? There! Oh, wait. Oh my goodness, I had no idea that it was... I had no idea that it was you, Victoria. I mean, after all, I seriously was just... I saw a figure walking around and I got very nervous thinking that perhaps, you know, there was someone breaking into the school. But, of course, I... I guess it makes sense, you know, I mean, it is the first night, maybe you just really don't want to be here. Nonetheless, I honestly just had to make sure that I alerted somebody, as I was just nervous for behalf of myself and all the other students. must say, I definitely was not expecting this, and it honestly disappoints me. Of course, though, we do appreciate what you did, Laura. Thank you for even alerting me, because this could have been pretty a pretty bad kind of situation but now um, victoria you were invited on the school and you, it's your first day on scholarship i must say there's not really too much that i can say right now after all it is quite late and as much as i would like to talk about this perhaps and try and find out what exactly you were doing when we have a strict curfew i think it's best that you come and see me tomorrow in my office and we can talk a bit more there I was so nervous. Honestly, I just did not know how to feel. I've never been sent to the principal's office of a school that I actually wanted to stay in. But once I got there, I tried to just remain calm and I knew it would be easy to explain. Hi, miss. So what exactly is it that you wanted to talk to me about? Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just really needed to talk to you about that um, incident, obviously. Um, but, oh uh, gosh, you should have seen your face. I'm not actually here to get mad at you. No, no, no. Honestly, I apologize. I didn't mean to laugh at you. But nonetheless, I just really wanted to try and, you know, kind of keep up the pretense for Laura, really. And as much as I, like I said, love to go, I definitely know her kind of character, so I understand what her goal was for telling me about you. But most students did the same. They all snuck out themselves. There's no need to worry. Wait, you mean you're not... Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. <laughs> I was so nervous about getting like kicked out or something. I understand that I would never normally do like that. It's just that I was, you know, I had something really important I had to get done and I'm just really glad that you understand it. But then if you don't mind me asking, what exactly is it that you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, well, in complete honesty, I just like to often call any kind of scholarship winners and just like to bring them in, really, and have a good talk with them, you know? Because I just feel like it's really important to make sure that all students are as comfortable as they can be. But also, I wanted to ask you, you know, just how you seem to be feeling, just yeah, settling in. And I mean, I'm sure you'll probably be doing quite well, like I said, because, well, your mother, you know, when she came here, she did the exact same. She was a scholarship winner and she did brilliant herself. She was always just the brightest in the class. I was so surprised to hear no that the principal knew my mother and the fact that she went to this exact school in Rainbow High. She was a scholarship winner just like me and I honestly did not know how to react. I was so nervous and I was really surprised the fact that the principal was so casual like I would have known this. Apparently my mother was a legacy in this school and actually I ended up asking the principal to show me and she showed me a bunch of pictures and videos of my mother when she was here and I just did not know how to react I did not know how to feel she actually was real in other people's lives and actually made an impact in this school she even went to such a school just like I am right now finally got the highest grade in the class can you believe it yes oh my goodness i'm just so happy finally this happened to me and wait wait wait, wait. you're not filming me don't film this this isn't something i want you to see come on we've got to go okay let's go get some lunch so what do you guys what do you think i think i worked really hard on this honestly doesn't it just look so um yeah, it's great it looks like it's covered in mud it's Hey, hey, that's not bad. I worked hard on this outfit. I'll give you two that. 
Yep, that's me and your mother. And I know I do not look exactly as young as I once was, but she always did stuff like that. She always showed off more outfits and designed more secretly all the time. It was rather amazing. You didn't know this? Honestly, I had no idea. Ever since I can remember, I've just thought my mum did designs at home for fun. I had no idea she even went to this school, and I, I just never got to find out too much about her. I think, honestly, you're the only person who's ever told me and shown me much more. My father doesn't really like to talk about her, and honestly, I don't think he even wanted me to know that she went here. Wait, um, miss, I wasn't just accepted into this school because of who my mum is, right? I can assure you that you absolutely, you weren't anything because of that. Your designs were amazing. You should never doubt what amazing kind of work you did and honestly it would be way too embarrassing for me to be able to invite someone who's horrible at designing to do a final runway project you did really good and honestly i think that in the best way your mum would be so proud of you as much as i was upset myself when she passed away it honestly was kind of bittersweet for everybody but it was the most greatest thing to have you of all people come into this school I am quite surprised that you don't know yourself, though. After all, your father was one of the few people who told me of her passing. Obviously, I, I sh I'm sure that he wasn't really sure what to do with himself. Perhaps that's why he didn't tell you that she went to this school. But nonetheless, you are deserving of being in this school, and it's not just because of Cassandra Serling. Your talent is amazing. Yep, that's basically what she said to me. What? what? No you way! You are joking! There's no way that's true. Yes, I know it's hard to believe, but it is true. And, I mean, it makes sense. The exact woman that she showed... How could you hell? honestly no not way you have known this? And honestly, the fact that she's such a big information. star... Crazy. You are literally the daughter of Cassandra Sterling, the most amazing fashion designer, and you didn't even know, and you just happened to go to this school? That's absolutely insane. But nonetheless, I think this is actually really good news. You can finally tell Laura where to stick it, you know? She's been on everyone's nerves the entire time, and now you can finally do that, right? That's not a bad thing. And with your dad, I mean, maybe he was just trying to, like, protect you. Maybe it's not actually as bad as you think. Perhaps, actually, he didn't even know that she went to the school. I mean, he met when you guys were adults. Maybe he had no idea. Really? That's what you're telling me? There's no way this guy didn't know. My dad, he knew everything about my mum. They met just ages ago. He definitely knew, and that's the reason he got so annoyed about me getting into Rainbow High. He wanted to try and keep me away from this, and it's what's confusing. Why would someone want to do that? Why would he do that to me? All I've ever done is wanted to be a designer and find out, and then he was going to ruin my chance just of trying to make sure that I wouldn't find out about my mum? I mean, that's not right, is it? That doesn't make him a good person. Um... um. Yeah. I think we should probably just agree, right? Yeah, yeah totally. Laura, there's no way that you're okay with her just being over there with all of them. I mean, she's taking everything that's yours. There's no way you're just going to let that slide, are you? Ah, uh, Tiff, what do you take me for? Of course not. There's no way that she's going to get anywhere. Because just as she least suspects it, I'm going to be there to make sure that she she'll be gone before the end of the year's out. Uh, honestly, I know it's not that great, but... Are you kidding? That looks amazing. This is actually really good. Honestly, I'm really glad to have you on my team. Look at how amazing this looks. I don't know why you doubt yourself so much. You're actually really good. And honestly, you should be a little bit more confident in your work. I mean, from what I've seen, you've always done pretty good. I think you're probably better than many of us in this group. I didn't say that. That's honestly not true. You guys are really good at what you do anyways. And honestly, it's really important to me that, you know, that I'm on your side, always. I think it's really important that we stick together very much as a team, as I like being able to help you out as much as I can. That's so sweet. Thank you. And don't worry. Yes, of course. I know that. We're definitely a good team, I think. I'm really glad that we were put in this kind of group, honestly. But 
it's pretty important that we probably continue. We're kind of behind on quite a lot of the stuff that we need to get done. Oh, okay. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Honestly, that was a little bit embarrassing there. It's just I really need a little bit more tips on stuff, and I kind of want to look at some of the old things that they did in previous competitions. I don't want it to seem like I plagiarized anything. Honestly, this competition's gotten me so nervous, and especially going against Laura. That girl freaks me out so much. I honestly have no idea how it even got so intense with us. I mean, what exactly is her deal with me? Yeah, I have to admit, I've seen Laura as her most scariest times, but I don't know, I've never quite seen her in the way she is around you. I mean, I guess the only way I could say is maybe she's threatened by you, or I don't know, that kind of sounds stupid. Laura doesn't care, she genuinely thinks she's the best at everything she does. But perhaps it's actually to do with her and Porter. Maybe she just doesn't like the fact they are on each other's team. I mean, honestly, I don't even get why she cares so much whenever any girl talks to him. Because they've been broken up for ages. It's just so weird to me. Like, they just act like they're still together, but I don't know, they're not. So I probably wouldn't take it too personally. I mean, when I first was around, I always did graffiti and stuff. And then when I ended up getting caught too many times, obviously, I decided to change my ways. And then... I started doing some set designing and doing like artistic shows and Porter was a musician and he had a really crappy band in my opinion. And so one day I ended up just putting my beats on and everyone loved it. And so did Porter. That's kind of how we became friends to be honest in the first place. And then, well, ever since then I started to get to know him. Back then though, he wasn't exactly the same way he used to be. He actually seemed to be a little bit, you know, just kind of the way he is now, very calm and quiet, but he actually was always like that, you know? When Porter was a young guy, he actually was really rich, well, his dad was, and his dad was stern. He never, ever cared about Porter at all, and he was quite cruel to him. And Porter eventually just did not like listening to him and kind of rebelled. So once he got the acceptance thing to get into Rainbow High, he ended up just making it his mission to make sure that he got out of there. So he ended up leaving and he didn't turn back. His father found out and honestly, his dad apparently didn't even care. He was still just as cold. He ended up having to change his whole rich boy identity and just ended up leaving. And actually, the person he found out and that wasn't happy about it was Laura. And well, she really didn't want him to go. When once he explained that he was going to Rainbow High and he didn't plan on staying with his dad or staying with her even, he ended up like breaking up with her. And well, you know, Laura, she wasn't really happy about it. And well, I don't really know too much about the rest, but... That's insane, honestly. I had no idea they even dated. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but... It still is kind of weird, though. Why would they break up, especially if they're going to the same school in the end anyways? Uh, have you met her? Honestly, Laura's crazy. I mean, just from you barely even knowing her, and such a bad thing happened between you two. You can imagine knowing her your whole life probably would drive someone insane. I'm surprised Porter is as chill as he is. He's probably numb from the feeling, honestly. But to be completely honest, I've never actually been able to find out myself. Whenever I asked him, he just says no. He never really gives me a straight answer. And I'm not going to lie, I definitely would say that's probably for the best, considering the less you talk about Laura, probably is the better. But we should probably get focused on our assignment. We want to be able to beat her so we can wipe that awful smug grin off her face. Hey, Dad. How are you? Look, I I need to talk to you about something. All right? Look, I found out something today, and I'm not happy about it. How the hell could you not tell me about Mum and the fact that she came to Rainbow High and that she actually existed as a proper designer? Cassandra Sterling? That's my mum. I knew that was... How, how could you not tell me this? This is big news, and honestly, the entire time that I've been here, I, like, I've... Dad? Hello? Wait... Oh my gosh, Dad! Oh no! Hey, uh, 
no time to talk, Porter. I'm really sorry, but I am freaking out right now. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I just heard my, like, a thing on the end of the phone. I'm assuming that my dad's, like, not gonna make it. I don't know really what happened to him, but I heard a huge thud and I'm really concerned. And then the phone call ended and now I just don't know what to think. Hey, 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 hey. Before you try to leave, let me help you. I'll be able to get you there safely. We rushed over and saw my dad was lying on the floor. Eventually, we ended up going to the hospital, and I just waited until the doctor ended up giving us the okay that he was going to be fine, and in fact, just had a little bit of an increase in blood pressure. And while I felt bad, Porter was really reassuring and decided he was going to stay outside just so I could talk to my dad before we had to get back in time for curfew. I waited there, and then suddenly, I was so relieved to see my dad wake up, and I instantly had so much that I wanted to talk to him about. And as much as I was happy about it, I obviously didn't really want to burden him with absolutely every mean thought that kind of got him in the hospital in the first place. But if truth was to be told, I needed to find out some information. So we ended up having a long conversation all about what he was keeping the secret for. And in complete honesty, I don't think he even really knew. I think my dad was quite nervous about just me leaving him. Sunny. I'm really sorry about everything that I did. I just kind of didn't like the way things ended with us, and... Well, with your mother, the reason I just couldn't tell you the truth is because... Well, I never felt comfortable the way she left us. She ended up leaving me and you, and... Just to pursue her study, side of being a designer. She ended up just getting ill afterwards, but she left us just because she wanted... To move on, she wanted, she thought we were holding her back, you know? No, 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 that's not the truth, Dad. You obviously don't even know yourself, but that's not the truth at all. I found out all myself with the principal. Mum actually knew beforehand. She got ill and she didn't want to have to be a burden to you, so she decided she would leave. And as her legacy, she wanted to do one final fashion design show and present all of her designs to the world. She was so excited to be able to do so and be able to bring you and me to see it. But unfortunately, she passed away before she could even, you know, show off everything. She never was trying to just leave us to get ahead. She actually loved us and she wanted to prove how hard her life's work was because she knew she didn't have that much longer left. Me and my dad cried it out quite a lot and we were quite devastated about everything. I ended up trying to ask him myself about what exactly did mum do with her final designs? Where was it all stored? And if she was the designer, where was her studio? I wanted to be able to just find it all myself to prove to the world that she actually did leave behind an actual legacy. And as neither of us knew anything, it was kind of a dead end. Sorry, honey, I honestly have no idea. When your mum passed away, her studio was turned into, like, an old warehouse, and, well, obviously I had no idea that she even did these designs, so I probably wouldn't be the best person to ask. I left the hospital with a happy face, as I was glad that me and my dad sorted it all out. I ended up meeting Porter and told him absolutely everything, and then he suggested something, that perhaps it would be found at the school. And it definitely made sense. My mum absolutely adored the school. She was a legacy there, and the principal was really close with her. It made a lot more sense to me, and so we decided that what we would do is we would go back and go and ask her. But then suddenly... 